showing sometime in the next few weeks, Minneapolis will do something it's never done before. There's now appears to be little doubt that this will be the most murderous year in the city's history. You really done it this time, haven't you? Down to my last dollar feeling, but I bounce back. No house left on the couch for months. Got some niggas who could vouch for that. No 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 some niggas who could vouch for that. The Blood Gang over South for sure. That was our very first enemy. That was our very first enemy, Blood Gang over South. Blood they cool now, I fuss with them now. But then, they was our on-site enemies. Do Dirty Mouth, one of them. And from then on, it was on. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we got into it with the Bloods too. It was Do Dirty. Do Dirty yep. stole them on one yep. of them little niggas. I was just Man, we was so that. young. Man, them niggas was toting guns. I'm not gonna lie, the blood niggas was toting guns when we was yeah. young, nigga. We was young. Do that is still on it, nigga. You remember how they used to wear them little uh, fanny packs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I was just telling them about that earlier. Came out the fanny pack with a blammer. <laughs> Blam. He he tried to shoot uh MR. MR, yep. Click, it clicks, boom. Billy come out. Folks, you leave it? Yeah, I'm back, guys. No, come on, shake my hand or something, man. I'm saying, one of the folks gonna come. I gotta have one of the folks stop by my crib. You know what I'm saying? So, just let y'all know, we did mean people sure. still show love and represent as that nature right there, <laughs> man. That happened on North, in North Minneapolis back in the day. By yours truly. Well, I don't give a fuck. Back in the day, it was different crews. Like I said, it wasn't games. It was, it was, it was clicks. It was like many pockets of family that called itself a click. And it, it was loyal back then. I don't know if y'all remember on um, Plymouth and Penn back in the day. They used to sit at McDonald's there. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! They used to sit at McDonald's there, and everybody used to gather up. Well. We took it upon ourselves to make sure we go skating every Saturday, every Friday night. And we meet up at this McDonald's. This is the battle right here. Where, where anybody want to get at anybody, they can get at anybody. Mm -hmm. The skating ring, we used to meet up and we used to bounce everybody around. It's at St. Louis Park. Everybody should know where that skating is at. But one incident, we end up clicking up and we was against a crew called uh, Shorty Max. And this was family members. I ain't gonna say no names, but this is family members we going against. And we not knowing it because there was like a secret behind the shit. I remember it was a time, man, now we was terrorists in our neighborhood, you know what I mean? Like, well, we went around here, you know, to the point to where we wasn't afraid to fight. You know, everybody that was clicked up back then, you know, the only way you got them clicks if you wasn't afraid to fight. Only one or two cats had a pistol, and the boy was raggedy back then, because we wasn't having what they having now. Um, until we started, you know, touching that coke. Um, but uh, it was an incident, man, where we was bullying all the cliques around, and we saw Showdown Posse, <laughs> and um, <laughs> they was at McDonald's. And you know, these is all my cats today. You know, I hope we laugh about this shit. Everybody you know what I'm saying? At one point in time, at one point in time, Southside, Southside got a little different history from other sides of the, of the Twin Cities, man. You know what I'm saying? At one point in time, every hood on the Southside funked with each other some way, some form. Right. First we was cool, then funk. Some way. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you got a lot of big egos over here, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we always felt that back in the 80s and the 90s that we were doing a lot of shit that other people wasn't doing. Right. You know what I mean? And at the same time, we made money over here. We had the best food spots over here. Right. You know, to make that bread. So it was like, you know, over here in this neighborhood, man, we funked with the Latin Kings at one point in time. We funked with the folks at one point in time. Right. Only ones that, you know what I'm saying, that was more like our brothers was the boats. You know what I'm saying? In this neighborhood. 
Hey, One of my closest out. homies was shout over there. Shout out to the 31st Street Bloods, man. The, the champs and the champagnes and all y'all, oh, man. Yeah, shout man, out to y'all, man. We ain't gonna take nothing away from you. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when you niggas used to chase niggas down the street 20 deep with a baseball bat and shit, tap your nigga one time. Wham! And nigga take off running, get chased down so he ain't got no air and then beat the fuck up with the bats. Remember that shit? Hell, hell yeah. Them niggas had tactics, man. We'll give them that. OG Ferguson, though, he didn't he, he run. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, cuz ain't run. Cuz was like, with there with his little perm. Like, nigga, any one of you niggas, I put that on my mom's socking on you. Shout out to Famo. He, cuz got heart. Cuz always had heart. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> on them niggas' side, that's, I think that's what them niggas get their courage from because they look at this nigga. He ain't nothing but this motherfucker tall. Right. Nigga. That's what you niggas need to model, your, model yourselves about, nigga. It don't matter how big you is, it's about heart, fam. You cannot be no motherfucking gangbanger if you ain't got no heart. You're gonna be always shooting people. You're gonna be always in risk of getting shot. You're gonna be always in risk of going to jail because you ain't got no heart. A nigga that got heart, he ain't gotta worry about going to jail all the time. As soon as you run up on me, I'm socking your lips off your face. I can't go to jail for that. Right. Unless you finna be a bitch nigga and tell. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I made it to where I'm at right now. Niggas socking on niggas and staying out the way. That's why I got broken knuckles now. Socking on these niggas and stay out the way. This is the only way you're going to make it to this age, man. I'm, I'm 41. I'll be 42 this August, man. You see, I'm still looking young and vibrant, man. Niggas ain't been touching on me, nigga. I'll catch a chuck up your ass. You know, it was cool growing up doing what we was doing, man. But, you know what I'm saying? Life way different now, man. You know what I'm saying? You need to promote positiveness. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? I had to learn the hard way. Even going to jail, doing shit, man, that still hunting me till I got bigger. I mean, while I was bigger, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so, a lot of older cats, man, need to get with these young cats, man, and let them know, like, you don't gotta do that shit. You know what I'm saying? How we got in it, you don't gotta do that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Go get your motherfucking education, man. You know what I'm saying? It be something, man. Every last one of y'all can be something. You don't have to sit back and go follow another dude because he was game back, he was doing this. Hell no, man. Get your shit together, man. You know what I'm saying? It's Cause your family gonna be your uh, family. You know what I'm saying? Even friends, some friends turn, turn fade. But your family gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? And I just tell the youngsters, man, like I tell my nephews and all this and that, you know, don't do what I did. You know what I'm saying? Go to school, man. Make something out your life, Joe. <laughs> it's been a different game. they have been totally different anyway since, since my man been gone. The whole game been changed anyway. Yeah, a lot of left, stuff changed. When he left, it was all different. It's like, you know what I mean? It, the unity left anyway. So therefore, you, you, all any man, uh, if you were your own man, you had to choose your own route. Once, yeah. once he left, it was over with. The unity left. Right. Honestly, he kept the unity. I gotta give it to this this man right here. He kept the unity. You hey, bro, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so but, uh, once he left, we had to homies, choose our own yeah. route. He cool, he cool was always a mediator with our homies, man. Like if they got into it with it, he could always go and be like, man, y'all acting stuck. We together. We, all, we got other shit that we, we got other things to worry about besides right, yeah. trying to be here. The story goes much deeper because I can honestly say it's not just because it's my brother, but I know if he was here, it'd be a lot of people that'd be alive right now. Mm. That's real talk. That's just coming from me. Right. Yep. And I'm sure, you know what I'm saying, when somebody see this and they hear where I'm coming from, it will be a lot of people that be alive right now. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it 100. So, a lot of people right now be alive. Life will be different. Right. Things will be, you know what I'm saying? It'll be, it'll be, it'll be much, it'll be a much better result at the end of the equation. You know what I'm saying? But it's just, you know, he just got jammed up in a situation that he had nothing to do with. Right. That's the bottom line issue. But see, he's sitting in there holding it down. Right. He's still the same, man. Ain't nothing changed. See, I'm gonna say 90, 90. 90, I'm gonna say 90 because um they had this little bar, you know what I'm saying? Jersey's right, right up the street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I used to live right down the street. We used to, you know. I mean, you used to walk up there, me, you and Bricks. Used to walk up used to walk up there, man, and just be. Remember, I was a little one too. I used to see my brother come up with knots and cash, like. Yeah. Like, yeah. I had to see, I had to see rest in peace. Was, you know what I'm saying, Randall all the time. His brother. Real, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace. It was some real, it was some real gritters around this neighborhood right over here. 
from 27, it really started from down that way. Right. 27, Franklin, 27 to Peel right. Hill right, right. there. Homie That's where it started drive. at, right there. <laughs> 27 to Peel Hill. The less fortunate Them area. buildings down there, <laughs> Woodier <laughs> Park, <laughs> and all that. Yeah, it, that's, it hut, started from there. all that. Rocky Rococo's was right around the corner. You know what I'm saying? We go skating. Get off on the bus stop right there, Rocky Rococo's. Fight with the Get bloods. to fighting. They you know what I'm saying? The <laughs> all the time. They throwing you know? rocks at the bus. Anyway. You really got it this time, haven't you? I done been down to my last dollar feeling, but I bounced back. No house, slept on the couch for months Got some niggas who could vouch for that Know 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 some niggas who could vouch for that Hottest nigga in the city, fam I got some niggas who could vouch for that Run this bitch like a thousand laps I got some niggas who can vouch for that And if you want a problem, motherfucker, I ain't trippin' one call Got some niggas who can handle that